Hey guys, did you hear that? That's Dabba Wala Bhaiya. He's here to pick up the tiffin that mom has prepared for dad. Dabba Walas are quite amazing. Daily, over a thousand Dabba Walas pick up tiffins from different homes in Mumbai and deliver them to people across the city. Their food delivery system works through a distribution network. Can you think of a distribution network other than that of the Dabba Walas? Well, a good example of distribution networks is the irrigation system. That's right, the system by which water is supplied at regular intervals from a source to crops. Let's look at how farmers use irrigation system in crop production. Most farmers use pumps to collect water from a source. The two main types of modern irrigation systems are the drip system and the sprinkler system. In the drip system, a network of pipes with tiny holes is laid in a field. When water is pumped, it flows through these pipes and falls one drop at a time near the roots of the plants. As a result, barely any water is wasted and the use of water is minimal. Drip irrigation works best for irrigating individual plants, trees or row crops like vegetables and sugarcane. In a sprinkler system, small pipes with nozzles at the top are connected to one main pipeline. The water pump creates pressure and this pressure pushes water out of the nozzles such that it sprinkles over the crop, much like rainfall. Now a lot of factors, like the type of crop and soil, have to be considered before one can decide which irrigation system to use in their farm. Moving forward, we are going to explore these factors in great detail, so buckle up!